everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a korean address haul i'm pretty excited about everything i have to share today it's not going to be a super long haul i didn't have that much to forward this time around but i figured i would still make a video out of it because why not this package got to me so fast my caddy shipped this package out late sunday night like early monday morning and it is tuesday and it got to me this afternoon i don't even know how that's even possible but yeah we love express shipping but yeah i have some albums to open i have some non-k-pop related things which we'll go through first so yeah it's a pretty random haul but i figured why not just show y'all what i've picked up the past few months so yeah let's get into it okay so let's start with the non-k-pop things first and this is a sunscreen my sister actually recommended this to me and there was a buy one get one free deal on g market for this sunscreen so i figured why not so i got one for me and one for her it's sps 50 and this is the brand it's cynic she really enjoys this sunscreen so i'm excited to try it out i'm really not like a skincare person like i know i need to wear sunscreen every day but i don't really know anything beyond that so whenever my sister tells me to buy something i usually just buy it or if she gives me something to try i'll just start using it like she is my skincare guru so yeah, I'm excited to give this a go, especially with the summer hotness coming in Southern California. I will definitely be getting lots of use out of this, but yeah, one of these will be going to her. And then I did do an order from Lucalab. Lucalab is always linked down below in my description box along with all of my other supplies. I do use their A5 binders for most of my collections, but yeah, I got two new A5 binders. They are these. So this one you have probably seen before in a lot of other people's videos. This is just the composition book design in blue. I don't really have a specific use in mind for this one just yet, but I've had my eye on it for a while. So I just decided to get it since I was doing an order. And then this one is one of their new colors actually, and I'm gonna open this one. So yes, this is their checkerboard design in the pink color. They released quite a few new colors in both the checkerboard and the composition book design. So I decided to check this one out, but it is just the 25R binder. And I do have a use in mind for this, so I'm excited to do what I want to do with this binder. So yeah, it just has the white rings and I think it's really pretty. Yeah, that was that. And then lastly, I just got three of their PVC um, glitter covers. Oh, and it looks like they threw in this mouse pad. Maybe because I spent a certain amount of money. I'll definitely use this at my desk, but yeah, I did not buy this. So they must have just included this as a freebie for me because I bought a certain amount of things, but that's cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna take off the little string on the binder. And then for this, you do kind of have to bend the binder, which is not the most like natural thing in the world to do, but it does bend, so don't panic. But you just, just kind of slide it in. Like so, like yeah, it is a little awkward to do, but once you get it on, it looks like this. So yeah, it's just a little protective cover, um, especially because there's white in this binder. I feel like it could get like scuffed up easily, so I'm happy to have the cover. And then the other two, I bought one for the blue binder that I already showed, and then I bought one for my Jaehyun binder because I just wanted one on that binder too. Yeah, that was all I got from Luca Lab. Pretty small haul this time around, but yeah, I'm happy with my purchases. Okay, next we have some FML albums, but I'm actually not going to open these albums. I do not need these albums. I kind of regret buying these, honestly, but this was back when I was buying like three sets of albums for Seventeen because I collect three members, but I'm not doing that anymore. So yeah, I'm actually just going to leave these sealed because I don't need any photo cards from this comeback anymore. I'm just going to try and sell these sealed, but I figured I would still show like the pops that I got with these albums. So like I said, I did order from Weaver global during the pre-order period so i did get this ot13 photo which i actually think is really cute is damaged from how my crane address packaged it so that's fun but i think it's still really cute it's a nice photo the front isn't damaged at all it's just the back so yeah i think super cute and then the pre-order benefits were really interesting this era for 17 so they did a little like phone tag 
situation. I don't know if that's the exact name for it, but it did come with this little um, keychain thing. It's a nice green color. And then to attach to this, it came with three random little tags that you can then attach to this. Because I bought a set of albums, I got three. So I got Wu Zi, Ming Hao, and Sun Quan. Sun Quan is, does have like a white speck on him, but yeah, these are just like kind of transparent tag things. I don't plan on trading for S. Coops or Mingyu for this. I'm probably just gonna sell these with the sealed albums to be honest because I don't have a use for this. Like I think it's a cute idea, but I personally just like won't use this. And then in addition to the tags, you do get three photo cards. So this was all pre-order benefits. This wasn't in relation to the Weverse fan sign. We'll get to those cards in a second. So yeah, these are pre-order benefits. So we have Woozy and it's the same picture as the phone tag, um, Hoshi and June. So those are my three members. Again, I'm not gonna try and trade for S-Coops or Mingyu for this. These are concept cards. I really don't care. So I'm just gonna be selling these. But yeah, so those were all of the pre-order benefits that you got from Weavers. In addition to that, there was also a fan sign going on with Weavers and Aladdin. They did this last era as well, where um, if you pre-ordered the album and then applied to the fan sign, you would get like a random fan sign photo card. So since I bought three albums, I received three photo cards. <laughs> So the first one is Joshua, and this is actually a really cute card. I really like it. Then we have Sun Quan, another cute card, and we have Mingyu. So yeah, that was super excited that I was able to pull Mingyu. I don't know if I will trade for S Coops. Um, I might try. If you have S Coops and you want to trade for Josh or Sun Quan, feel free to DM me on my Instagram, but I am super happy that I pulled Mingyu. I'll just take Mingyu out of the plastic since I'm keeping him. I'll keep Josh and Sun Quan in the plastic, but yes, this is his card. The back is matte. So yeah, super cute PC. I'm happy to have his, but yes, that was it for my pre-order albums for FML. Um, I do have the deluxe box version, but um, we'll get to that. I think I'll do that last since I think that's the newest thing that I have. Um, but we actually have some Doji Junk stuff to look at, so let's do that. Okay, so I have three copies of the photo book version from Perfume. I bought these from Yes24 during their launch day event buying period. So I do have three of the, the full set of photo cards from the launch day. So we have Doyoung, super, super cute. I love that photo of him. And we have Dungwoo, another really cute photo. And we have Jaehyun, his little dimples. He's so freaking cute. So yes, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the full set of these or if I'll sell Doyoung and Dungwoo and just keep Jaehyun. Um, I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I thought these were super cute. Now let's open these because I do need pulls from this album. So I am gonna open these and we're gonna pray I don't pull dupes. <laughs> It would be really nice if I didn't. Okay. Oh, I think the group card is different. Um, where's the poster? Oh, it's right here. Hello. Oh, this is the same Do Young that I pulled in my unboxing. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, I've kind of given up on collecting Jaehyun's posters for this era, so that's fine. Let's do the group card first. <gasps> yay! Oh yay, this is a different one. So I pulled the um, horizontal group card in my unboxing. So this is a new pull for me, which is very exciting. Super, super cute. Oh, I love them. Okay, now let's do the random photo card. I pulled one Jungwoo in my unboxing, so <gasps> yay! <sighs> My favorite Jaehyun photo card from the photo books. <gasps> Yay, I'm so excited. He looks so cute. His dimples, oh, they kill me every time. Oh my God, I love him so much. <gasps> yay, yay, yay. Oh, what a cute card. Wow, so, so new polls. I'm really happy about that. I hope that these are not dupe albums, but I don't know. I don't really order off of Yes24. So I don't know how they are with shuffling. I don't know if that's going to be the same group card. It might be. Let's look at the poster. Oh no, it's the same Young. <laughs> Cries. Yeah, I think it's dupes. Yeah, it's a dupe album. Okay, well, I will be trading the Jaehyun for sure. Um, because I'm collecting full group for this version, but um, the group card, I have a lot of group orders coming, so I don't really care if I get dupes for that, but 
Let's see what this third album is. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I don't have high expectations, to be honest. Yep. <laughs> Nar, yes 24, why? <laughs> I mean, kind of iconic that we've pulled three JN photo cards, but why did they all have to be the same? There are so many cards we could have pulled, but alas, they did not help us. But it's okay. I love them all the same. So yeah, these were the pulls from my extra photo book copies, but I do have group order pulls coming, so I'm not, not panicking. Okay, and lastly, we have the deluxe version of FML. To be honest, the only reason I bought this was because it came with a full photo card set. Like, I... Uh, why did they have to do this? They do so many versions now, it's insane. But once they showed the preview of the photo card set, I knew I had to have it because all the cards look so cute. So I guess I should just be thankful that they gave us the set. Ooh, who did we pull? We pulled Sunquan. Oh my God, my Sunquan look this era has been ridiculous. That is so funny. I pulled him so much and I love him so much. So yay. Okay, I think there's like group cards and unit cards and everything, so we'll we'll do those last. Um, let's see. Oh, well, here's the CD. It's just black. Um, I'm not gonna do like a super thorough unboxing. We got a poster. Nobody cares. The lyrics. Oh my God! Look at this photo book. Whoa! It's so thick. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick flip through. Whoa. Are these all new photos? Can someone verify if these are new photos or not? Or are these just like taken from the original three? I know there's photos from the music video shoot at the front, I think. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. But are these photos just taken from the the other three. I feel like they are. Oh wait, there's no photos from the photo shoot? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there was photos from the um, super music video shoot, but I guess not. Um, all right, <laughs> that's fun, I guess. It's just like all three versions condensed in into one very big photo book. I mean, I guess this is a good option for someone that like doesn't want to buy all three photo book versions. Like you get everything in here and you get a full photo card set. So it might be worth it to someone. Let's do the cards next, what we're all here for. Um, I think this is the set. Yes. So we have S Coops. Oh my God, the Jung Han. An iconic Junghan photo card. One of his best, I think. So cute. Joshua. All the backs are the same, so I'm gonna stop showing them. June, I love this June PC as well. He's so cute. These are very sticky. Hoshi, classic Haranghe. Wanu with the short hair. Woozy with his wahe. Minghao, wow. What a stunning PC. <laughs> Thank you with his little smirk. DK. Sun Quan doing the, the super pose. Oh, Vernon. Vernon with the light hair. And Dino. Yeah, I really like this set. I'm glad that I bought this because I think all of these cards are really nice. Like some of their best work. Okay, so I think in this one there's like units and group. PCs. Oh, this is so cute. Just shut up. They're so precious. We have the hip hop unit. Oh my god, Vernon. He's so funny. Oh my god. Performance. I mean, vocal unit. Oh my god, carrot card revoked. Performance unit. That's a super cute unit. Hip hop unit again. Vocal unit. Performance unit. Why are their photos so cute? Please. Oh my god, the hip hop unit. Vocal unit and performance unit. Wow, that's really cute. Yeah, okay. I'll give the deluxe version some points because I love all these cards, but they really got me with the photo book. Like, that's kind of sinister. But yeah, that was actually 
everything that I had for this haul and we will end it on Dino because he deserves. Um, I think I'm actually going to put this in with my Naoki haul because I don't think this is a long enough video for me to put it up on its own. So yes, this is either the first thing you're seeing or the last thing you're seeing. I have to think. I think this will be the first thing you're seeing. So yeah, I'll see you in the Naoki haul. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or I think this is a clip actually. So welcome to the second clip of this video. Yeah, I decided to combine my Kayati and my Neokyo haul for this month, so this is the second clip. We're gonna do my Neokyo haul. It is a much smaller haul than I've done in the past, hence why I'm combining these two clips together, but I still have some exciting stuff to share, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so first off, we have this Jihyo photo card. So this is one of her ready-to-be pre-order benefits. It is so hollow and sparkly, and I really wanted this, so I just bought it. I believe this is from Blue Dream Media, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know once this correct me in the comments, but yeah, I just thought this was a really pretty card of hers. So I picked it up. And yeah, I'm excited to have it. Next, we can do the singular red velvet item in this haul as well. This was a random purchase, but this was such a good deal. I had to grab it. Um, these are all three of Yeti's Pink Christmas random trading pack photo cards. Funny enough, I am in a group order for these, but it literally has not arrived to my group order manager yet. It has almost been half a year at this point. Like it is crazy how long it is taking them <laughs> to get them on hand. So yeah, I saw Yeti set on sale for like $8 for all three cards. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just get her cards. And whenever I get the other cards, I will probably just sell them to be honest, um, because I have no use for them now because I have Yetis. Um, I'm also in that group order for Jayen's cards, so maybe I'll get his, but yeah, I just like decided to buy them on Naokyo or Makari Japan when I saw them for such a good price. So now I don't have to wait anymore. So yay. Next we can move on to Espa. So I don't really know what I was thinking with these orders because both of my Espa orders have the same card in it, so I'm kind of like, why did I buy these sets? But, oh well, uh, we have this, well we have two of her Savage PCs that I was missing still. So this one is from one of the photo book versions, I believe, and then this one is the like concept card from the Digipack. So I was missing both of these. Um, so excited to have them back in my collection. <laughs> I am getting caught up with Ningning Ning today with the exception of the new comeback. So that's really exciting. But yeah, there are these two. And then we have this. <laughs> Why did I buy this? I don't know. These cards must have been cheap because I literally have no reason to buy a set with the same card twice. So I'm a little confused. The seller packaged these really nicely though. Um, so we have this card again, which I guess I'll be putting up for a trader sale because <laughs> I literally don't need it. So there's that. And then we have this card from Girls, which I actually did still need. She writes the longest messages. It's so cute. And I really like her signature. I think it's really unique and pretty. So yeah, this was the last card I needed for Girls. So happy to have that. Next, we can go on to Stacy. I only have a few things for Stacy for the Japanese comeback. Whoa, it's like Monster X size. That's so crazy. Um, so I have this unit of Sumin and Aiza. This is, it looks like it's a Bushia benefit card from the Teddy Bear Japanese comeback. It's my top two biases, so you know, I had to get it. But yeah, it's strange that it is like so much bigger than like a standard photo card, but I think this card is so cute. I'm so happy to have it. And then next I did pick up Sumin's um, case cover and it like they may have included something else in here so oh yes they included the is this is the standard version of the album or does this go together this might go together i don't know i'm very confused i don't really know how japanese compacts work to be honest so um but i obviously bought this for the cards i don't think this has anything in it but i will check just 
to make sure. The CD design is really cute though. We can even get this out. Jewel cases just need to be abolished, honestly. But this concept is so cute. Oh, that's so sweet. So there's that, it's the CDs. And then for the cards, so, hmm, are these, I think these are both album photo cards. So I think this, one of these is her member cover card and then the other one is like the standard version card, I think. Um, but they're super pretty. I'm so happy to have them. And I'm so happy to add them to my collection. So yes, I, I don't really know what's going on with this comeback. I don't really know the card situation. I think I'm missing one card, but I could be wrong. So happy to have these. It's a start. Are these as big as this card? No, they're not. Okay, that's interesting. Anyways. All right, now we can move on to NCT. The only groups left are NCT and 17. So if you aren't interested, feel free to click off. Um, but this was definitely an impulse purchase. If you can see, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic. Um, this is Jaehyun's Cashby photo card pass thing from Resonance era, Resonance part two. Do I need to say why I bought this? Like he looks so cute with the pink hair, the iconic pink hair. Will we ever see pink hair Jaehyun again? I do not know, but yeah, I decided to get this on an impulse. So there he is. And then we have some AO stuff. So these are two of his random trading card pack photo cards. I really wanted the selfie because I think he looks so freaking cute. Um, and I didn't mind that it came with this. So yeah, super, super cute. Jaehyun blonde. I need to get all of the blonde photo cards basically. So yeah, happy to have these. The rest is Doje Jung, but I do have this one Mark photo card, which is very exciting. This was the last Mark photo card that I needed to complete his beatbox set. So we are one step closer with completing my Mark collection. This card is so cute. I love the little eyebrow piercing and his blue hair. You know this man loves his blue hair. So yeah, I'm really happy to finally have this card and I'm excited to add it to the collection. Okay, and now for perfume. These are two of Jaehyun's Mumo photo cards. So I believe this was for the photo book version and the box version, and this was for the S Mini and Digipack version. So I just bought them together in a set. I think I have an extra of this one. We'll see later in the haul, but yeah, I just wanted to get both in a set. So now I have them very pretty. My favorite music video outfit of his is this outfit, so I'm happy that we got some cards with this outfit. Next we have a Jungwoo card. So basically what had happened was I had ordered two sets of digipacks from K-Town for You in order to get... Actually, I'm not gonna open that. In order to get the um, two-unit um, pre-order benefits from that they were giving out for the digipack but k-town took so long to ship out the orders i just ended up canceling mine because it was just taking too long and the cards are really cheap on mercury japan so i was just like let me just buy these cards and get it out of the way and i very luckily found this set of cards it had both of the digipacks i needed plus a photo book card i needed of his and it was a really amazing price so yes this is one of jungwoo's digipack cards another digipack card so cute his photo book card and then this is his Mumo pre-order benefit. I won't be keeping this. I'll probably just sell it. So yeah, happy to have these cards though. They finish his Digipack collection for me. So yeah, very happy with that. And then back to Jaehyun. This was an impulse buy. What else is new? So this is Jaehyun's Everline Lucky Draw. I did not join a group order for this because I didn't really like care about the card but I saw it on Mercury Japan for super cheap so I just decided to pick it up and it is the hard plastic PVC material but yeah I don't know I it has his face on it so I bought it <laughs> that's that's my rationale and then we have this card which is one of his box version photo cards this was one of the one that I was missing so very happy to have this so Jaehyun's box version photo cards are finished now 
can breathe easy on that one. Then we have Doyoung photo cards. So yeah, basically once I decided that I wasn't going to be collecting or getting the Digipack stuff from K-Town for You, I just went and I looked for sets of their Digipack cards and bought them. So yeah, I'm not gonna unsleeve that one. So this is his Mumo pre-order benefit photo card. And then these three are his Digipack PCs. I do already have this one, so I'll just be trading it or selling it, but I needed these two. Oops, I'm flinging things all over the place. So yeah, there are two of the Digipacks that I needed. Or do I have this one? No, I think I have this one. Yeah, I have this one, needed these two. So yay. And then lastly for NCT, not a ton of NCT today, which is kind of shocking, but we do have a Jaehyun set. Okay, so we have all of Jaehyun's Digipack photo cards. This is the Mumo Pop that I already showed earlier, so I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic. Um, but these three are the other Digipack cards that I needed. I pulled this one, so this is a dupe. I'll be trading this one away. But I did need these two. Stunning, gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so funny. Like, I know normal people probably wouldn't find that hilarious that he just wrote thanks on the back of his photo card, but like, that is so hilarious if you know, like, Jaehyun's personality. But yeah, I really like these cards. I love this card. I love the slight smirk. I love the dimple. His outfit is everything to me. So yeah, I'm happy to have these. So the digipacks are done for Do Jung. One less thing to worry about. Okay, everything else is 17. We have quite a bit to go through. So let's start with this because it's slightly open. Lol, that's hilarious. So I did end up buying a set of large inclusions for Mingyu. Just because as I've mentioned in previous videos, I have just not been in the trading mood for 17. So yeah, we have these things. This is his bookmark for version one his sticker for version one and his sticker for version three. I think I ended up pulling the sticker in one of my extra albums, so I don't actually need this, but you know, we'll take it. I love this bookmark though. I think he looks so stunning, so I'm happy to have that. Next we can do some DK. Okay, so I bought a big set of DK cards. It came with one of his stickers. Again, I don't collect large inclusions for DK, so I don't need this, but happy to have it, I guess, but I did buy the set for these cards. It had every card I needed except for one, and it was a really good price, so. So we have the other version one card I needed. I pulled his other version one card. And then we have one of his version two cards. The other version two card, I was nervous about this one. I thought this one might be quite expensive, but I was able to find it. And then one of his version three cards. So, yes, happy to have these. I love this hair color on him. I think he looks so adorable. Okay, and mixing it up, we have some random Escoops photo cards. Um, I bought the set for this card, which is his In the Soup, like, season two benefit card. If you bought, like, is it called streaming? Like, if you bought season two on Weavers, you got sent a photo card set. I believe you still have to pay for shipping for the photo card set, but yeah, this is Escoops' card. Super cute. And then it came with these Carrot Land DVD photo cards, I believe. I mean, this one is so cute with the pink hair. Um, I don't know if I'll keep these. I might resell these, to be honest. I don't really collect these types of things for 17 anymore, so. But the pink hair is so precious. I feel like I kind of have to keep that. But yeah, I mainly bought it for this. This was like $5 for all three cards, so I was happy to buy it. Okay, next let's do June. This is the only June thing I have in this haul. But I did decide to collect June for the carrot version. Um, for FML, so I just bought his set of cards. This was literally, there's a dog hair. This was literally $6. <laughs> the cards are so cheap, like mental note to self, you do not need to buy carrot version albums next comeback because they're so cheap. Mercury Japan, so yeah, that's June's entire carrot version set, yeah. Next comeback, I'm completely changing how I collect 17, like how I go about buying albums and everything because 
yeah it's just it's just too much and the cards are super available because they sell so many copies so yeah i just don't need to be buying as many albums as i do for them and i don't need to trade for all of the cards so yeah i'm super happy to have these though blonde june he's so stunning i love him so much okay let's finish dk so i am gonna be honest i did take a card out of this set one of his um care version cards because i want to trade it for something else because i'm giving that card back in a group order so yeah i already took one of the cards out but i have this set so this was the last version three card i needed super cute and then two of his care version cards I'm missing three Kara version cards now um, based on the pulls from my group order so hopefully I can find trades for those because I'll have extra cards but if I need to buy them it's not the end of the world. And the last two things are photo card sets so this is a full set of S Coops cards from FML. Again like I said these cards are super accessible and affordable on Mercari Japan so I just went ahead and bought a full set to minimize my pain and suffering a little bit. Um, so we can just go through these. So this is his version 1 card. The other version 1 card super cute. I so very rarely pull S Coops that whenever I get his cards, I get really excited. Their version 2 card. And I love his fluffy hair. It's my favorite look on him, the, the curly, long, fluffy hair. I think he looks so nice. So yeah, those were all of his um, photo book version cards, all six. So yay. Happy to be done with him. Okay, and lastly, we have Mingyu's set. Okay. So we have this version one card. I really like his hair for this comeback as well. Um, he obviously has cut it since um, the comeback, but I'll never forget. <laughs> the iconic phone card, so freaking cute. And then this one. So yeah, those are all of his photo book cards complete. So easy, so painless. I love it. This is, this is just, so much easier for me but yeah that was actually it for this video i feel like i'm going really fast um through these clips but i just want to get this stuff like opened and put away as soon as possible so you will definitely be seeing a certain photo cards video very soon from me because of all of this stuff so yeah be on the lookout for that and thank you so much for watching i hope you're all doing well having good day or night or afternoon wherever you are in the world and I will see you soon in another one soon. Bye!